Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Antheron. And on this episode, we are continuing where we left off. Now, we recently just figured out how to pickpock, and I think we're going to go ahead and try to take some of this guy's money. I did just save it, so if we die uh, or get caught, uh, we can reload. We didn't get caught on that one. I, you'd almost be better to exit out and then come back in after you saved it, just to make sure, because you're really, really testing it that you're going to get caught here. And I guess I didn't get caught. And Butterfinger's... Picklock's gold Lars for... And he actually gains 13 experience points for doing that. So, yeah, I would highly suggest coming in here and doing this, guys. Even if you don't like pickpocketing, the fact that you get experience points really means, uh, you know, it's it's going to profit you in level-wise at some point and in money-wise. Like, why wouldn't you do this? So let's come up here. I think we're going to head back over here to the shop where we remember seeing that, that lady and seeing if we can pickpocket her. Like, that is going to be the thing to do over here. So, let's come in here. We will, uh, of course, save it really quick. And I'll probably be doing this a, a fair bit here just uh, to make sure that, you know, when we when we come in here and grab something and we make some progress, we don't have to go back and do it all over again. Ooh, check this out. Unidentified item, not yours. 21% chance. Oh, we're taking that. Oh, we got caught. Dang it. Okay, let's let's load that up. Hopefully you guys don't see this as a cheat. I see this as uh, one of the, the strong game mechanics that if you're going to be doing this kind of class, uh, you need to get very accustomed to doing this. Ah, oh, you suck. You caught me again, you little punk. You, we may not be able to do it. Like, it may be such a good item that she just catches us every single time. Or it could just be luck. You know, like you may have to do it 10 or 15 times, but you will eventually get that item. Yeah, see, there we go. We got the item right there, guys. Let's, uh, let's go into our inventory. How do you... Right click to identify. Requires lore 40. Oh, dang it. You know what? Who who are we going to give lore to? Let's go into our stats real quick. Somebody in here needs a lore. That's five, five. Yeah. Everybody has five. Well, I guess it's going to be one of my mages. And I think probably my cleric is the way to go. Give the lore to her. Yeah, and man, we, we can't even discover that. That sucks. But we can at least save it again. And we can go in there and steal the rest of her money. Uh, which will hopefully let us buy something come morning time. Maybe, if we're lucky. But, you know, if we keep getting caught, we, we won't keep doing this. Uh, dang it. You suck. You're, she's rough. Like, she has a really high tolerance uh, to pickpocketing. I, I think we're, like, right there on the edge of, of probably when we should be in here. So maybe we won't steal all her stuff now. Because I bet you more than anything, uh, it doesn't repopulate with stuff. Like every day, uh, if you come in here and you try to pickpocket them, uh, at some point, you know, there won't be anything left on them. Probably within the first day. Ooh, check this out. 41%. So we should be able to take this just fine. And his too. Yeah, it was just that, that merchant up there that was uh, giving us a real hard time. 30%. So we might get caught with this one. But we'll take it. And hopefully we do not. Yes, finally. Okay. Uh, because my my rogue here is the one who uses the arrows. And he goes through quite a few of them really quickly. Uh, if you look at it, uh, he only had 10 left. And these are the new ones that he has. Go ahead and toss those on there with him. Yeah, it's uh, it's kind of rough when he, uh, when he runs out. Because, you know, the weapon he has for replacement is really not all that great. Let's see. What is this? Silver Spoon in. This might be perfect to see at night. Let's see, what do you got to say, Luna? Hello there, what can I do for you? Uh, we'd like a bed, pay 39 gold coins. I guess we could. I wonder if that heals you up completely. I bet it does. Um, heard any rumors lately? Got any work? Barter? Goodbye. Let's look at what she has for sale. Uh, this is the first person we've seen that we can actually sell stuff to. So what would she give us for that? That's 26 coins she'll give us for that. I'm going to wait because sometimes when you go into a place you'll find that uh, you know certain NPCs will give you more money for something. So she will actually give me one gold coin for these even though they're not worth anything. Okay, what about your garbage? No, she don't want garbage at all. Let's see. So if we look at it, it's actually worth 51 coins but she's only going to give me 26 and I guess that's because our skill with them isn't as high as it should be. Uh, for selling uh, our charisma and stuff like that. So let's see, what does she have for sale? Apples, which is food. How much are they, though? 
value 15. Like, I, I can select how many I want to sell. Oh, no, that's what that meant when I clicked on it. Oh, she doesn't want to give me jack for it. She doesn't want that at all. But these automatically are the price because I only have one of them. Hmm. I don't know how much those are. Uh, there's 23 of them. It says value is 15, but uh, merchant's price is 29. Wow, she does not like us at all. She's charging us a lot more than the value of the item and not giving us nearly as much as it's worth. A sextant, uh, value 100. She's charging 195. Ring of nimbleness, required level 1, value 135. So the, the price isn't that bad. Um, except her price is pretty high, 263 although we could still afford it if we really, really wanted it, because we've been saving up our money. So that's two dexterity. A steel mug, which I guess can be used as a weapon. Uh, One-handed damage is six, so that's, uh, okay. The history of a strillin. Ooh, I wonder if I could steal this stuff from her. I wouldn't mind reading that. Tarnished ring, required level one, value 290, and she's paying, or she's charging 565, because it's five intelligence. Recipe of weak vigor potion required alchemy. So somebody has to do alchemy. So I think my dark mage is going to do alchemy and my white mage is going to do lore to be able to discover that stuff. So merchant price, uh, 99. Uh, bolt of cloth. Some more ingredients. Spoon, tongs. We got steak. We got lockpicks. Uh, she charges 19 for each one of those. So those are going to be pretty important. I think we're going to have to come back and buy all of those at some point. Arrows torches, weak mana potions, bananas, cure potion, illumination, required uh, gray magic, and we don't have a gray uh, magician with us, value 250, uh, merchant's price 487, the caster is imbued with a luminescence, allowing him to peer, to peer off into the distance, so kind of like a uh, for, or farsight, you know, that he can see things that are coming ahead, uh, yeti tooth, and a weak healing. Okay. Let me let me walk around the side over here and click on you. Let's see what you have. Oh, 50% chance that I could take her stuff. That's not bad. Weak mana potion. Uh, before I do that, though, I, we will save it again because it's been a few minutes there. I would hate to have to load that back up or, or die right here just because I'm being careless. Uh, let's do pickpocket. Come on, baby. Big bucks, big bucks, no whammies. You can do it. Uh, oh, wow. We are now level 3. Holy crap, guys. That is a lot of experience we're getting off of this stuff. Now, I, granted, we are low level, but still, with that, you know, taken into account, that's still a lot of experience. Okay, mm so we are going to stick with, uh, yeah, you're going to be the, the damage. You're going to have to do that. What about forging? Determines how plentiful and powerful some of the items you find are. Uh, your party's highest forging skill is automatically used. Hmm, that would be interesting to have on one of my guys. I almost want to do it on my my uh, my rogue, but his lockpicking skill and his pickpocketing skills are too valuable. So maybe maybe do two points into this and a couple points into my forging. That way everybody has two things that they're majoring in. My warrior two-handed weapon and forging, where my my rogue will do uh, his his lockpicking and his pickpocketing. So let's raise this up three points and my pickpocketing two that will even them out. And at the moment, I kind of need pickpocketing a little bit more than I need lockpicking. Uh, and then we will come over here into yours. And you're going to do forging, so I'm just going to do five points to catch you up as quick as possible. We need 40 to be able to understand what that item is. So it's going to be a ways off. We don't even have 40 in our white magic. So that's, that's still a ways off on that one. And you need to be able to do... What was hers? Alchemy, that's right. Determines your ability to mix potions. Uh, yeah, we'll do five points into that and get you up as fast as possible. Now let's go back into general stats. Hmm. Uh, what is your hit points? This is a pretty decent amount. Dexterity, I think we're going to do three points into you and two points into constitution. Uh, I guess that's fine for now. Put one more into that later on. And then like three more points into strength to get that guy to be a little bit more uber than he is right now. Mm, action points. Yeah. Let's do two points. What was luck? Everything else you do. And we'll do determine your total amount of spell points. Why does he have so many points into that? Like that's... I don't think you actually use uh, intelligence for anything on this guy, right? 
Yeah, okay, we're gonna leave it like that. Uh, dexterity. No, you don't need that. You need intelligence and wisdom. Right? Maximum action points, increase all weapon accuracy, increases damage done with bows, yeah. Chance to cast magically in addition to making all spells moderately more powerful. Let's do this. Okay, yeah. Uh, you know, it's it's hard to tell at this this moment like what they should be in completely uh, because, you know, we haven't really gotten to the point where they have made any uh, difference on the points that we're putting into because we haven't fought since the last time we leveled. Uh, chance, yeah, we're going to do... We're going to do more powerful spells because if I can do more powerful spells uh, and hit them for more damage, I have to cast them less often, which means I'll need less power to do it. When you get to the point where you're one-shotting them, then maybe put more power into, uh, you know, having more of that stuff around. So let's talk to her again. Mm, heard any rumors lately? The town butcher recently went mad. I heard that he ate several small dogs and a child. Supposedly his madness was the result of some tainted orc meat. I would always tell my daughter not to undercook orc meat. You just know, you just don't know where that stuff has been. That's disgusting. You realize you're talking to an orc right now. Like you guys are eating a sentient being? That is pretty messed up. No wonder you guys are catching like mad cow disease, which is actually something they found in humans who practice cannibalism. Like when you eat yourself, no matter what creature you are, it seems to be very, very bad for like your longevity as a species. So yeah, don't don't eat other sentient beings apparently uh, that look like humans and talk like humans and move around like humans. Probably a little too close on the food table. One more thing. Uh, let's see. Got any work for... Uh, a funny thing you should ask. Lately, the Silver Spoon Inn has suffered from an infestation of rats. In addition to posing a serious liability problem, should one of my guests fall ill, the mere presence of the rats reflect poorly on me as the owner and operator of this fine establishment. They seem to be coming from the basement, but when I was down there the other day, I found nothing, not a single one. Perhaps you could go down and have a look. If by chance you do manage to exterminate them, I shall reward you for your efforts with a bit of coin. Sure, we'll check it out. Wonderful. Please return once you've finished to collect your reward. All right, so let's go down into the basement real quick. I wonder if, uh, if these guys are going to be tough or what, like... Okay, so we got some barrels over here. We can loot this. Ah, he, she just leaves coin down here. So ten coins and nine coin. We'll take that. That's uh, that would be a ward enough for me right there. I don't really think I need more than that. What is this? A steel mug of uh, one-handed damage. I think that's better than what my uh, rogue has as his secondary weapon. So he might actually get that here in a few minutes. What about you? A magna flower, value seven, weight one. Still haven't quite figured out what those are for in the recipes. I think we have to find some recipes before we can actually make anything. Wine uh, is food, value 15, weight 1. But again, food I don't really get rid of. I, I keep so that my guys can go to sleep. Gold, value 6, weight 0. Let's take that. There's some green stuff on the floor there. I wonder if that's a clue or something. Bread, food, value 15, weight 1. You know, the weight on the food really isn't that bad. I don't think that's uh, you know going to be, be ever an issue for me. Let's see, spoon, value two, weight one. Let's go ahead and grab as much as we can down here. Haven't seen any rats yet. Bolt of cloth, value 50, weight one. We got more garbage, we'll leave that garbage there. Ooh, a nightstand. 30 gold coin in the nightstand. Bad idea to let a thief down into the, the middle of your house. And did I miss, I don't, I don't see anything uh, that has anything to do with rats. Like, uh, maybe only during a certain time of the day or night do they come out? Walk around a little bit. Yeah, I don't, I don't see anything down here. If you guys know what I'm missing, we will come back here eventually to, to, to finish this off. But if you guys leave in the comments something that I that I missed, uh, let me know. That's definitely uh, it's kind of weird. Okay, um, that might be a quest that's broken. Or, like I said, it may be something very special about how to do that. Uh, can we come in here? So I can't pickpocket containers, apparently, right? I mean, yeah, it makes sense, but still at the same time, it'd be interesting if you uh, could get that stuff. Hourglass. Am I out of her range right now? Is that why she can't attack me? Uh, or doesn't show up as, like, this is not one of my items? I gotta make sure that I, I always save instead of load, because I know that's gonna get me one of these times. I'm gonna load it instead. 
Let's see, anything? No, she didn't attack. Okay, well, that's not too bad. I don't mind that. I mean, if all we have to do is be out of their sight, you can kind of, you know, come in with the door closed behind you, and then you can rob them blind. Nothing in here. Come on. Close it. There we go. Ooh, a bed. We can interact with the bed. Can we... Not yours. Oh, so I guess this is the room they probably give you when you rent one. Uh, let's see. Ooh, Astrid. Do you know what time it is? This is quite inappropriate. I must insist that you leave it once. Okay, I'll, I'll leave it once as soon as I pickpocket you. Let's see. 18% chance that he's going to ca catch us. Yeah, I'm going to leave him alone, although the emerald looks pretty good. And it probably uh, will sell for a pretty penny as well. For now, I think uh, it's the best bet to uh, to leave those that are that difficult alone. Lars Boat Shop. Let's go down this way. What is this? Vincent's Books. Vincent home? Uh, it looks like he's in bed. Well, you know what that means, guys. That means he's going to get robbed blind, not yours. Uh, it's in red. But he's in the other room, so... Is he coming out here? Oh, he sure is. Ah, that sucks. Hey there, what can I do for you? How does one make a living selling books? We like to buy some books, shop. So maybe the sun is just coming out and he's going to work. How does one make a living selling book? An astute question indeed. I benefit from a demand side def deficiency. You see, in Antheron, there are quite a number of affluent scholar types plumping out books after one after another year after year. Unfortunately for these authors, there are very few actual buyers. Antheron's economy is based on farming and labor. The average Antheronian, Antherite, uh, simply cannot read. So <laughs> nice, after I make a mistake like that, yeah. So what happens then is that these authors pay me to stock their books. So you sell them uh, shelf space knowing that their books won't sell. Mm, sounds like bookstores nowadays, unfortunately. Uh, yeah, I guess uh, that's the only uh, option we have. It's not quite as nefarious as you make it sound. You see, they purchase shelf space, so they then bring their kinsfolk in here to show off the fact that they've been published. It's something of a badge of honor across Antheron's small but very uh, vocal uh, erudite community. Why, just the other day, I had a young elven woman in here trying to convince me to carry a vanity novel about her short and completely un unnoteworthy un life. Uh, her book was as atrocious that you couldn't sell it as a doorstop in a free market. Nonetheless, this isn't a free market, and she has the coin, so I agreed to carry her abomination of a book. Uh, wow, could you be any more harsh, man? Uh, so, that is actually a thing in real life, guys. You can actually pay some companies to publish your book. You know, they do all the work, they put the book together. Uh, I mean, you wrote the book and everything, but they put the book together, they... They give you a uh, you know a, p a picture that they put on the cover and all this other stuff, and some of them will even go as far to put your book in a actual store, knowing that the book is never going to sell because they're not going to publicize it or anything like that. So this is actually a, a real thing. So whoever wrote this game uh, clearly knows about that, or maybe they're referring to the gaming situation being uh, the exact same way. I don't know, but I, I find that kind of funny that uh, he put that in there. So let's see what they have for sale. Recipe or vigor poison. So yeah, you do have to have the recipe before you can do any of this stuff. And the required skill is 50. So that's uh, a little high for us right now. Polymorph, required gray magic, 15. The target's for, uh, form is transmuted into that of a pig, fully replenishing its health and causing it to wander aimlessly in a confused state. Mm, wow, that would suck. Like, why would you want to do that? Yeah, you get full health, but... You're probably going to get sit there and slaughter like a pig, you know? Like, that's... No, I don't think we'd like that. Recipe of the Weak Vigor Potion. Okay, so 25 alchemy. That's not too bad. History of Antheron, Volume 1, Value 50. His price is 97. We might buy that just so we can read it. Web. Required black magic. We do have that. We have 15 on our black magic. We actually have 30. Uh, ensnares the target in a sticky spider's web. Hmm... He's charging 585. That's more than we have right now. So we're going to have to hold off on that. Recipe of Mana Potion, which would be nice to get. 25 on the uh, required alchemy. So uh, not too far away. Maybe another three or four levels. Uh, recipe of Weak Healing Potion is only 10. Uh, we could probably get that on the next level. The History of Astrilin. And Firebolt Black Magic, 15. 
hurls a fiery ball of misfortune at the single target from a distance. I think that's the one we're using right now, so we don't really need that. Let's see if we go to our guy. How much are we going to get here? 26, I believe, is what the other girl was offering as well. Three, yeah, that's what the other one was offering. This one doesn't want that, doesn't want trash either, I guess. Oh, uh, Okay, how much? Seven. I think that was the same price. Like We're getting the same price on all of this stuff. So I guess it really doesn't matter who we sell it to. So let's get rid of a little bit of our junk to uh, to this guy right here. We don't need all these staffs. We'll keep... Mm, should we even keep one? Or I don't think we need to keep them. You know, they're just going to carry up way, uh, space and weight. So let's get rid of them. I was thinking maybe we'll get another person down the road. But chances are, if we do, we'll have gotten, you know, better gear. Or we can take gear off of some of our guys. Now we're not going to sell these. These are ingredients. Mm, we're going to hold off on that for now. We're going to sell the rags. I don't think the rags are used in anything. Come on, sell. I wonder if these guys have a certain amount of... Oh, they do. They have a certain amount of gold. And once they run out, they're out. So, yeah, that's going to be a thing. That you're going to have to go to different sellers if you're constantly going back and forth to... Uh, Right click to use. So we're going to hold off on selling those. Wine. Not going to sell any of this stuff. Mm. Uh, I guess we could get rid of the the crude blade. No real reason to hold on that, right? I mean, it's just three damage. Yeah, let's get rid of that. We do have some weird shoes here. They have a different look to them. They're a little bit more uh, worth than mine. And there's 16 value on those. And 28 value on these. They only had one armor. The same thing as this one. And the weight is one. And the weight on this one is zero. So yeah, I'm not going to use those. So let's sell all this stuff. Tongs. Don't know what they're used for, but we'll hold off on it. What about this hourglass? Don't know what that's used for. How much will you give me for that? 30. Ah, eh, we'll hold off. And uh, I guess it just froze there. Yeah, it's freezing on me, guys. I don't know what the... So we'll exit out of here. We're going to save it real quick. And then I am going to pickpocket him and see what he has. And hopefully we can get some really good stuff off of this guy. Come on, baby. Ooh, a key. 30% chance to do it. Recipe of Ultra Vigor Potion. Required alchemy 95. Wow. Well, we're going to go with the key just to see. Stop it. Oh, what's caught? Let's, uh, actually, uh, what happened? Like, what? Oh, we have a guard coming, don't we? Is he coming over here? What does that mean? Oh, no, he caught me doing it, but he didn't call the cops. Okay, well, that time he did. Oh, okay, so I guess you can get caught, and they give you, like, a second chance sometimes if you have a high enough skill. Because he didn't, uh, he didn't go after me directly. Uh, actually, let's cancel that. Let's go a little further. Uh, I was going to go behind him on the other side, see if that did anything. Oh, man, your crime have been witness. Okay. Well, is this guy coming towards me? I think he is. Yep. No, we're going to we're gonna fight, and then we're going to end the turn. Oh, no. Leave me alone. Oh, wow. They just they just laid down some smack on me right there. That was the one hit, one one kill, man. That was... Yeah, it's going to be a while before we can, we can take these guys on. Can I not walk past you? Okay, well, let's... Let's get on the other side. Oh, stop doing that. Let's click on him again. Pickpocket, guys. I want your key. Oh, he got me again. Let's come in here. Let's see what you got. Nothing in there. Requires a key. Yeah, so we do need that key. Nothing in there. Can I loot this while he's here? So he didn't see me do that. The golden, yeah, so we've already gotten that. What about this weak uh, vigor potion? We'll take that. Uh, let's go up here. I wonder if you, we're going to get attacked the moment we leave. History of Antheron Volume 1. We'll definitely read. Oh, he saw us. He saw us on that one. I wonder why he could see us over there on that one and not. What do we got? We got a bounty now. Can I click on it? He's coming. Oh, no. Get away. Get away. Oh my god. What what if what, what happens if we go to jail? I want to see what happens while we're in here and then we'll load up. I am encumbered. Why are we encumbered? Uh what do we got in our inventory? Oh, these stupid shackles. 
Let's go ahead and take those off and throw them down. Drop those suckers. These things weigh a lot. And, you know, I guess that's supposed to be the point, so you can't run away very easy. Drop this garbage. Uh, get this off of you as well. And they didn't get rid of any of our equipment. Like, it's all still here. Why does this guy have two on him? I don't know. Let's look around. Can we move? Can we do anything? Oh, wow. We can't We can't pick this. We've run out of pick locks, and it's only 1%. Uh, so there's no way we could ever do anything with that. Um... You're serving time in prison. So what, are we supposed to go to sleep? Let's go to sleep for a few hours and see what happens there. <sighs> Hopefully, uh, you know, we'll wake up and our time will be served. I wonder how much time you have to serve down here. Does it depend, depend on the crime? Like, he didn't, they didn't tell us that it was, you know, six years or a year or a month or two days or, or whatever the case is. Yeah, I, mm, I don't know. Let's, let's load back out because that, I don't know if you should choose that, guys. That seems like you almost get stuck down there. We'll have to try it out eventually, but... Uh, let's come over here where we can loot this stuff again. Let's see. Weak Potion of Vigor. Ah, uh, come on. He sees it occasionally or what? Like, what is... What's the deal with that? Okay. We'll, we'll reload and we'll leave this area alone for now. It was worth a try. I might even come on here if you guys want to uh, have me do this in between... Uh, the episodes, I might just go ahead and do that. And this guy literally woke up. He wasn't awake a little while ago. Bigsby's house. Let's go inside Bigsby's house. What do we got? Jogan. Hi. Uh, where are your parents, kid? Mommy's dead. Daddy's at tavern drinking ale. And he came home drunk. Oh, uh, we're, we're going to have to find this guy and beat him a little bit. Bigsby's. Uh, I ain't got no time for no interrogations. Go away. You're a little punk. What do you What do you got on you, man? What do you got? 51% chance that I can steal his jeweled amulet. Okay. Sorry, kid. Uh, I feel bad that I stole it from the little kid. But now I'm going to click on the little kid. No, you're not. You're not going to steal food from a little kid. Oh, come on. What are you doing? Oh, and he found... He, he saw you. I was caught pickpocketing. Oh, my God. The kid is smarter than the parent. Which is not actually a surprise. It, it actually makes sense. I can steal this? I wonder why I can steal that. Like, they're in the room with me. Let's see if we can find a guard. Uh, if we talk to him? Be gone, citizen. So I guess they can see you doing it and uh, not report you. Hera's house. Okay, what do you got, Hera? Hello there. What do you do around here for fun? Do you enjoy living in Australia? How do you make a living? I'm Australian's one and only real estate agent. How's the market here faring? Do you have any properties for sale in Australian? Uh, one other thing. How's uh, the market faring? Great. For me, anyways. Currently, it's a seller's market. There's just so much demand for Australian seaside cottages and so little supply at the moment. Uh, one other thing. Let's see. How do you make a living? Do you have anything for sale? I do. In fact, the house just to the southeast of here with the for sale sign is one of the markets, uh, is on the market for 682 gold. It's a terrific little starter home. I really think you'd love it. I think that's what we're going to spend our money on to start with, guys. Uh, usually when you can get a home, that will allow you to cut out the the cost of going to bed, so you'll be able to go to bed more often, which means you can do a little bit more grinding right off the bat. And I like grinding. I like going out there and getting a few extra levels and what we really need so we have an easier time doing this stuff. So I think the house is going to be the way to go. Sorry, but we can't afford that at the moment. One other thing. Uh, what do you do around here for fun? I can tell you what I don't do. Well, that's not really what I asked, is it? But, yeah, let's go ahead and hear I stay as far away from the Seaside Tavern as possible. It's a rat den full of the slimiest clientele you'll ever see. Late at night, these drunken fools awaken me by banging on my doors and windows and don't even get me started on what it's doing to the property values around here. Okay, well, I won't get you started on that. Do you enjoy living in Australian? I do indeed. As a young single woman, it's a place to be. And that's all she has to say there. We are going to check to see what she has uh, in her pockets. Unfortunately, she has nothing. What? What? Come on. Oh, there's a banana. You know, if I come back in here at night, because she had just got home. If I come back here in at night, I bet I can steal everything she has in her, uh, in her house right there. Oh, it's, it requires a key. That's going to be my house one day, guys, right there. 
What is this? A seaside Tavern. Ooh. I think that's going to be the guy we're trying to find. Dreydeen. Okay, let's talk to him. Hey there. Can you train us in lockpicking? Uh, let's barter. Anything new around these parts? What do you do here? I spent my days thieving and drinking. Ever since the mine shut down, there's a lot less wealth for plundering. One other thing. Uh, anything new around these parts? You see that guy sitting across the room from us wearing that violet robe? He showed up here two days ago. All day he just sits around like he's waiting for someone to come. But they never do. And he hasn't even had one drink since he's been here. Imagine that. Can't believe the bartender hasn't asked him to get out. What about let's barter? What do you got for sale? Locksmithing boots, plus three to lockpicking. You know, plus three is a lot. Like, you only get five points to spend per level. So, yeah, these these are really good. Hood of Thievery, uh, plus four to lockpicking, and armor one. So, that's not bad. Ring of Thievery, lockpicking and pickpocketing, plus two. Uh, leather, two to lockpicking. Uh, so, basically, a full suit that you can get for your rogue to uh, to really outfit them. You got arrows as well as lockpicks. So this guy is the one-stop shop for everything you need that has to do with thievery. Uh, can you train us on lockpicking? Sure can. Which one of you will be training? Uh, I think it's going to be Butterfingers. All right, then. That will cost you 185 gold for training and lockpicking. Deal? Uh, on second thought, not right now. 185 gold is not bad. If we go out there and grind a little bit, make a little bit of money... You can always come in here and uh, up your skill. I'm pretty sure, really, 47 skill on that. Well, we got to try it. I was going to say I'm pretty sure we won't be able to actually pickpocket this guy. But maybe he's just really good at lockpicking and not so much at protecting his own pockets. Let's see if we can get it. Yep, we sure did. We'll keep going. Oh, no, he got us. Oh, crap. Uh, okay, well, I think we're going to go ahead and end the episode here, guys. Again... If you enjoyed these episodes, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe. Definitely helps grow the channel, and I greatly appreciate it. Also, make sure to leave those comments down below because I love hearing back from you guys. And I will catch you guys 